Hey everybody, Silver back here, and I'm out here testing out my Smith & Wesson Model 64. Uh, as I've stated in a previous video that I have enrolled into a gunsmithing school. My dogs are still outside, they're barking a little bit trying to get in the house. Um, but I've enrolled into Modern Gun School and uh, I got these two thick ass binders full of <laughs> schoolwork and stuff. So the first lesson was on the um, Smith & Wesson Chiefs 38 Special. Um, how to disassemble it and reassemble it, uh, a little bit of history on it and stuff. Uh, since I don't have a Chief Special, and I do have this 38 Special, I figured I would take this one apart and give it a good cleaning, um, because it probably hasn't been cleaned since it left the factory. Uh, there's a marking on here uh, that the crazy Scotsman, I... I um, conferred with him uh, because he is uh, really big into Smith & Wessons, uh, especially the revolvers. Um, so he said that that marking looks like it's a marking from a return to the factory for some kind of work or something. So that's cool. I like knowing the history of the firearm and learning more and more about it. But I was able to take this thing apart and I cleaned it. This was so black. I mean, so, so black. Uh, very dirty there was a lot of gunk built up inside of here so this being the first revolver I've ever done any work to I wanted to take it out here on the range and check my work to make sure it works because I mean I can do this kind of stuff all day long with it but there's really no telling truly if I did a good job until I fire some rounds through it to make sure that I did a good job. Everything, yes, I'm gonna dry fire it right now. I know it's bad, but everything seems to work the way it's supposed to. Cylinder still opens, you know, everything seems good so far. But we're gonna go ahead and load up some rounds and do some shooting and make sure that I did it right. <laughs> Fingers crossed. All right, so as I load this, just, I guess I'm not really too concerned. Uh, you know, it's a revolver. There's not a lot of moving parts in there. There are some, but hey, let's give it a shot and see what we got. Okay. All right, first six down. So far, so good. All right, these are plus P rounds that I'm shooting through here, so a little bit more powerful than the average 38. Oh, what happened there? All right, let's fire this round. Skipped one. Let's see what we got. There it goes. That's the one. The skip. I guess that's all six. Yep. Sweet. All right, 12 rounds so far. Only one little hiccup. I think maybe a round wasn't pushed all the way down in the cylinder. So it was a little hard cocking back the hammer. All right, trigger feels really good. Hammer feels really good. Um, it's shooting well, shooting very well. Oh, I missed one. How the hell did I miss one?
<laughs> so striking the primers just fine everything's working guess I did a good job <laughs> all right well I'm not gonna bore you with the rest of these 50 rounds but I'm gonna shoot the rest of these 50 rounds off camera just to enjoy this revolver a little bit more all right everybody thanks for watching stay tuned I'm gonna show some pictures of it all broke down all cleaned up so you can see what I did all right have fun